Hello and welcome back to this tutorial on creating a simple PHP strategy game. In this last part, we're going to be dealing with uh, the actual server part to it. So let's just say that, for example, I already have created uh, just a test web host server. Um, I just found you're looking for a web hosting service that provides PHP, MySQL databases, and cron jobs. Now I've already found one, uh, 000webhost.com, that's just a test, I mean you can find other ones and if you want to pay there's a whole bunch of better ones. But what I've done right now is I have created, uh, I've created my account uploaded my files and right now I've just created a database and a database user so what I'm going to do is update my functions.php file sorry and right here we have still localhost our database name and then our password which I'm going to oh and then also our database or sorry this is our database user right here and right here is our database uh, database yeah and then right here is our password I'm going to pause this video put in my password save the file and go back to the main control panel actually one such thing I noticed was here they actually gave me a host for my MySQL database so instead of localhost I have this. Now I'm going to put in my password. So now that I've saved my password, you can see that here is the website testgame.host22.com. Just so you know, um, this is just for a test. I may or may not delete this game, but this is just here for right now. So for the meantime, I'll keep it up and users will be able to visit it. So now, what we have to do is, uh, I don't actually know, okay, go back, sorry, I've, I've never actually used this place before, so I'm still kind of new at this. So now we have here, we have this, typing in my password, oh, sorry, I don't actually need that, just going to PHP my admin. So now we have test, and what we want to do here is here's our game what I'm going to do is check all of these and empty them do you really want to truncate this when you truncate it you delete all the rows and you set you basically set everything back to back to nothing so now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to do this you click on export and everything here should be all selected and all this stuff uh, you can pause it and check all these things but I'm not going to have to and be sure that this is unchecked so that when we go here you can just go to this and now what we're going to do is we can basically copy everything here and we copy there after we selected it so now we want to run a query we paste all this stuff again and if we hit go has been executed successfully. So now we have this, as you can see here, no records or anything. So we're going to go here. We're going to register and we're going to say test1. Here's his password and this is his email. So we registered. You have registered. Now we're also going to do a test2 and his is also going to be test2. So again, we have registered. So, if we go back to our index page, you can see, well here, you can see this. No logs because they haven't done any battling. Uh, I'm just going to pause the game for a second, or pause this video for a second, sorry. Okay, well, the game is having trouble loading just because it's a bad host, I guess. Well, okay, well, never mind. So if you say test2, and we try our password, let's see if this will work okay so here's our game let's just 
by, um, I don't know, 10 units. You have trained your units, zero food left, and I'm going to spend gold on weapons, so I'm going to buy 10 weapons. Now as you can see here, our attack is 100, but our defense is zero. And if you go here, well no players are ranked yet. So what I'm going to do here is show you how to set up cron jobs. Now if your web hosting service does have them, it will be something along the lines of this, where you have a command to run, php, dash f, and then here's your directory. Your directory is going to go into, um, oh, we'll see. This is your home directory, and then you're going to have public HTML, because this is where all of your public files are, and then let's just say cron rankings.php and at least I think that's what it was yes cron rankings.php we want it to run well this one's kind of messed up a little bit but 15 minutes um, every hour actually wait here let's do we'll do every 15 minutes every hour every day every month every weekday that kind of thing so we have that what we also want to add is, let's see, what other files did we have? We also have cron logs and cron turns. So what we're going to do is, again, this, but instead of rankings, it will be cron logs. And this will be this. Every day, every day we'll check the logs and delete any ones. Then, our last but not least, we have our cron turn. And the cron turn is going to be every, well, let's see. This will be, we'll just have it, I don't know, every 15 minutes, I guess, since we can't change, we, since we can't change it to every hour. But as you can see here, this is the minutes. This right here is the hours. This is the days this is the months and I believe this is the weekdays if you wanted to do like every 30 minutes you can do asterisk divided by 30 that'll give you every 30 minutes or you can do 0 comma 30 that'll be on the hour and 30 minutes past the hour for this tutorial we'll just do 15 minutes for the turn and 15 minutes for the rankings um, actually, let's change this back to cron. For the rankings, it'll be every five minutes, just because we can. And here's that. So once you know that, um, hold on. Sorry, just had to uh, check the time length. So we know that here there were no players, as you can see because the time is not five minutes past the hour currently so once we wait hopefully this should work we will find out just gotta wait just gotta wait okay so now it's changed let's see if the rankings have changed at all And now as you can see here is the overall rankings because our test 2 guy whoopsie sorry Okay, well, okay, here we go. Because our test 2 guy has a combined total of 100, and our test 1 guy has a combined total of 20. Okay, server's too busy, blah, blah, blah. This is not really the best server, but as you can see, test 2 guy is overall 1 ranked. And um, I'm going to pause the video and just wait for the... Um, the turn to take place. So I'm going to pause the video now and I will see you in, I don't know, a few minutes. One thing I wanted to quickly go over before our turn takes place is uh, setting the permissions of the cron jobs. Now, 
we don't want people to actually run these because otherwise uh, bad things could happen. So we're going to select our cron files and we're going to go to chmod or change permissions, one of the two. And we want them to be 700, which means that the server can execute them, but we cannot. So if we go here and we go to cron rankings, okay, well, maybe that wasn't the best idea. I forget, but I believe 700 is what it is, or maybe it's just... 444, I forget. Um, that was actually a bad example. <laughs> okay. Um, I'll, I'll figure that out in a second once we get done with our turn. But uh, time wise, we should almost be there. So hold on. Okay, we are coming close to the time here. So just give it a. Okay, a few more seconds. Now as you can see gold is 100 and 0 and the income is both 10. So if our cron worked, there you can see that they're changed and the food has also changed. So at least now that we know that that works. So now we can figure out this whole, uh, whatchamacallit, what have you. So what we wanted to do is actually, I believe it's 700. That's what I've used. So I'm just going to go ahead and see, okay, that does work. Let me just see if the cron turn will work. It's been a while since I've actually worked with cron jobs. Um, let's just see. 20. Okay, so as you can see, it has changed because we allowed our user to edit it. Give me a second, I'm going to figure out what the actual one is. Okay, well, unfortunately, I've forgotten um, what exactly permissions you have to change in order for the cron jobs to be <laughs> quote-unquote hidden from users, but uh, this concludes the final part of the main tutorial. Um, I mean, I've basically explained everything to set up your game, so any tutorials after this will just be extra features here and there that you can add in to make your game look a little bit better, but that's that, so thank you for watching this tutorial, and I will see you in any following videos. Peace.